welcome guys to the fifth session of the tutorial <coughs> in this session we are going to achieve something like this this data will be coming from our database whatever we have configured also we are going to implement a delete function so when the user will click uh, a delete button the user will be deleted from uh, this page as well as from the database and uh, when the user will hit this uh, edit button it will give the option to edit the user but in this video we will limit ourselves to configuring this all user space and this delete function and this edit function will be your assignment so let's start so the question comes from where to start all these things so uh, let's go to our project When the user will click this all user it will go to some page let's configure that page first go to your welcome page and uh, we have something here see all users when the user will click all users it should go somewhere so let's say uh, show show users so when uh, the user will click this all user button this is coming to show users so this is fine we are getting an error 404 that means that the page is not found it is looking for a JSP page and it is not available so let's go to our application and let's uh, application controller let's give a method public string uh, show all users and return return the welcome page and just save it and give a mapping to it Go back click on all users now so now we are getting something like this so it is finding the page and it is displaying the welcome page now next thing uh, what we need to do in this all user space I want to display a table so for the table we need to write some HTML code that I will uh, show you here in the welcome page just uh, come here uh, paste our code so we have pasted our code now when we go back and hit all users it is giving some internal error so we need to again give a, a c1 c c1 let's say like i want to display this when the mode is equal to to all users so when the mode is all users that time we have to set this view and just put the ending tab go back and check our output we are getting something like this but uh, we have to configure our and this thing in our controller let's go to our application controller and uh, whatever we have done it here let's reuse this one copy paste it here and going to do the same thing here what is the mode we have defined here all users so let's go back to application controller and let's say all users let's go back now and let's uh, run so let's uh, check the code in the html what we have done so this is a, just a container and we have given that uh, id to container this id can be anything heading is all users as you can see so this HR is for giving an invisible brick 
after this all users now we have taken a responsive table some more class we need to import from uh, bootstrap this is for uh, the header of the table and table row and the header we have defined like this is going to be by header this header is closed here table body for each variable user and it is taken from the users and here we are yet to implement this users but here we have already coded for it like uh, it will get the username password and everything from the database we want to fetch all these user details from our database so for that let's define a method this method will return the list of user objects so show all users so this method will be returning a user objects return users we need to import this list and this users we have defined in our JSP base here so now let's uh, take a list a list of user new array list of user and let's import this array list let's apply a for loop so it will go to user repository and in the user repository we have a method called uh, find all which is coming from a uh, CRUD repository with, which will uh, iterate through all the users and it will get the data. And this for loop is used for iteration. So don't get confused with so many users here. This user is for iteration, whatever we are iterating, that variable will be stored in this user. And this user variable is holding the objects of array list. And this user is our user class. How do we add elements to the array list? Users dot add add what we need to add is whatever we are iterating we need to add there. Every time when it is iterating, it is saving the data to this array list and we are returning that array list here. Return users. Now let's go to our controller in the show user. We need to call that users set attribute users let's call our user service so user service we have defined a method called show all users there save this application and uh, run it so this is working now let's go to all users and yes this is working fine let's cross check with our database the same things whatever is here is available here as well let's uh, implement a delete function which will delete the users so for that uh, we need to go to our JSP page go here and uh, here next to the is I want to have a column for that so let's say th delete let's see what impact it has so we have got a column here in the table body also we want to have this delete function so let's take a span and in that span we will say class this class we will take from bootstrap you need to go to google and type bootstrap components and just uh, click on the first link you will get a list of components here i want to use a delete okay here it is this class i want to use so let's go back here and use it let's see what's the impact
so we have got this uh, delete button here now when we click on the delete it is not having any function assigned to it so in our JSP page let's give a href this href let's say it will trigger delete delete user So when you hit the delete button, it is going to delete you sir. But what to delete? Let's say like it has to delete particular ID. Now let's go back here, refresh it. And when we click on this delete button, so it is saying like delete user ID equals to 7. We have to implement this delete user in our application controller. Let's define a method here. And it will return. Give it a mapping. request param int id how can we delete this user we need to define a method in user service for deleting that user this delete my user will take an int parameter which is id and we have to call our user repository in the user repository which is implementing our CRUD repository has so many methods so it has a method called delete id so this will delete our given user So we have in the CRUD repository we have a method called word delete which will delete the user. Now let's go back to our application controller and give a command so that it can delete the user. So just we need to call our uh, service method user service. In the service method we have defined uh, something called delete my user this method and this method will delete our user. But after deleting this user, we need to do one more thing. So the user is deleted here and after deleting it will uh, directly return the welcome page. So if we run it now, let's see what's happening. Let's delete this user. And it is deleting the user and it is going to welcome page. But uh, after deleting the user, we want to display all the users again with the updated list. So let's go to our application controller and do that modification. So first of all, we want to display all the users. So let's uh, reuse this code from here. It is doing the same thing like fetching all the data from the database. After fetching the data, we want to show all the data into our web page so now we can see the first user whatever we have deleted is deleted from here let's go back to our database and verify if the user is really deleted we click on refresh and yes the user is deleted so we have successfully accomplished our task and there is a task for you as well. Your task is that the way we have implemented our delete user, the same way you have to implement the edit user. So when you click on the edit button, you should be getting the option for editing that user. So your assignment is implement a edit user in the user table. So I will provide some hint. Hint is 
you have to go to your JSP page. You have to define a header edit. Then here also you have to define one href for uh, date user. When the user clicks on that update user button, you have to configure something here. Next, you have to make use of uh, find one method which is in CRUD repository. Next, map the update user in the controller class. That's it from this session. In the next session, we will implement a edit button base and also after that we will implement a login functionality. So guys, thank you for watching the videos and do provide your valuable feedback. Thank you.